Lift up your two hands. Just ask God for more of it. More of you and less of me and less of me. Oh Lord, my prayers be. Oh Lord, my prayers be. More of you, more of you and less of me. Everybody say more of you. More of you and less of me and less of me. Oh Lord, my prayers be. Oh Lord, my prayers be. More of you, more of you and less of me. Today. Lift up your two hands. Begin to ask for more of God. More of God. May, may you begin to manifest God kind of nature. May you begin to have God kind of character. Open your mouth, begin to ask for it. Grace to function. Grace to be like God. I want to be like you, Lord. In my conversation, in my relationship with people, in what I say, in the secret and in the open, even in the thought of my heart, Lord, I need more of you. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Mm. I need you every hour, my precious Lord. Of all that I have seen, there is none to lean on. I need you, Lord, I need you. Every hour, every hour, I need you. Bless me now, bless me now, my Savior. I've come to you. I wanted to sing that song truly sincerely with passion i need you every hour my precious lord of all that i have seen there is none to lean on i need you lord i need every hour Every hour I need Bless me now my Savior Bless me now my Savior I've come to thee Heavenly Father In this month I ask that more of you come upon our lives in the powerful name of Jesus, our master and personal savior, we have prayed. Please see that. Open up your heart right now. Let Jesus into your heart. Open up your eye right now. Let Jesus in. Open up your eye right now. Open up your eyes right now. I said, let Jesus in. Open up your eye right now. Open up your heart right now. Let Jesus into your heart. Ah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Aduna. There is no like you. No one else can touch my life like you. Open up your eye right now. Let Jesus into you. Open up your eye right now. Open up your heart. Oh, right whoa, 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 whoa. Let Jesus into you. Open up your eye right now. Open up your heart right now. Open up your eye right now. Open up your heart 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 right now. Open up your
God of heaven, have mercy on their soul. They have wondered the love of the earth. There is none like you, Lord. There is no compare like unto you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I have wondered, I have wondered, to have God in the world. I say, there is none like you, Lord. There is no God that like unto you. A sinner man was walking at even time. See, tempter standing by his side. He was walking away in sin. Spirit, soul, and body, he was walking away in sin. I said, Spirit, soul, and body, he was walking away in sin. Oh, Spirit, soul, and body, he was walking away in sin. One certain day, one certain time, the Lord came on to him, my son, come back home. My eyes are open wide for you. Never, never you run away. Never, never you run away. Oh, never, never you run away. Oh, never, never you run away. I say, never, never you run away. Oh, never, never you run away. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, Lord of God of heaven. Soul. We have wondered to offer the old There is none like you, Lord. There is no compared life unto you. Bow your head as I pray. Lord Jesus, We have been walking and fighting against the sins of the fathers. But there are equally sins that we inflict on ourselves. I pray for them today. In any way, you have gone the way of error. May God bring you back with mercy. Mercy will not allow you to stray away. I pray for mercy belong to God and God alone. Why judgment in the mouth of those who does not believe in God? But righteousness, purity, salvation, redemption lies with Jehovah. I pray today that you lord the makers of the heavens and the earth we bring purity to our hearts salvation to our soul righteousness as the breastplate of our heart and gospel of peace on our feet that anywhere we go we shall bring the prince of peace to such a place in jesus mighty name Hallelujah. Last Sunday I started the teaching that is titled Breaking Loose from Satanic Court of Arbitration. I divine breaking, I divine loose by this. And look at it. The color of this cloth that was soaked with the blood of Jesus Christ has not changed over the time. Because it was able to be loose from the attachment to the rest. Now, I continue from where I stop. Remember, it's breaking loose. Then what is satanic? I want you to listen very well. What is satanic? Satanic is anything that is of the devil. Even Jews can be satanic. 
If somebody gives you a juice and injects a poison or a sleeping tablet into it, that is satanic. Anything that does not bring refreshment to your soul and does not refresh your body and does not purify your heart is satanic. Even words of mouth can be satanic. When people speak something that can make your heart to be corrupt. When they gather to speak some certain things that can make you to miss the mark of Christ. That is satanic. What you call gossip is satanic. What you call backbiting is satanic. What you call tebiani is satanic. What you call quarreling is satanic. Fighting is satanic. Are you hearing me? There are so many people that are into satanic things in the house of God. But I pray today that ever we open your eyes and bring you out from where they kept you in the mighty name of Jesus. Stand up and shout to the earth, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Then I talk about courts. Not C-O-U-R-T Like the court of law Now in the court of law People gather and And employ the service of a solicitor Like barrister in the house If people does not patronize him He will come for prayer that his business is not moving And if his business must move People must have cases Hallelujah Am I correct? If Barista must take care of his children and his wife and build a house, he must have a good case. Praise the Lord. So he's praying. And some of you, you are praying, God, let me not have a case. And Barista is praying, God, give me plenty of case to handle. Who both of you are praying unto? It's God. And God answers prayers. Hallelujah. So as you are praying, Lord, I don't want to see case, police case, anything case. But he starts praying in the morning, God, I want to see plenty case. I want to undo plenty case. I want to make more money. Now, that is not satanic. But listen, the one that is satanic, today in the world, you see children, small, young, all our youths, Majority of the youth are into courtism. C U L T. And that court is where they decide a lot of things. And what is the meaning of arbitration? Even the Bible says something concerning court. It says, Some men, when they heard about St. Paul, they went together and take an oath and scrape their hair and made an oath that till their hair grow, they will not eat until they kill Paul. Hallelujah. So they become a court member. They have the same intention. It is unchristianly for Stephen to be a member of a court. It's unchristianly for Peter to be a member of a court. One day, missionary went to village and spoke to the old, old man to receive Christ. And one of the wise men in the village raised up his hand whether he can ask a question. And they said, Baba, you can ask any question about this Jesus. He said, you are mentioning the book of Matthew. The missionary said, yes, Baba. You are mentioning about Peter. The missionary said, yes, Baba. You are mentioning all this name. But sir, from my transistor radio last week, I heard that Matthew was an armed robber. And was arrested by the police. Even among the gang that went to rob, according to my transistor radio, says Peter is among them which Peter and Matthew are you talking about many of us have desecrated the name of the Lord have disgraced 
the counsel of Almighty. What we do not in church, even outside the church, matter most. Hallelujah. Now, what is called arbitration? Arbitration, according to legal people, they said, is an alternative technique for conflict resolutions outside the court of law. Alternative techniques. That means any court of arbitration is an alternative to record. They just bring the both parties together to see how to resolve the matter without engaging in a long time legal tussle. Praise the Lord. So instead of going to court and getting lawyer, then come to this one arbitration. Now listen. In spiritual world, there is a court. C-U-L-T that is of arbitration. That is why people, instead of reporting you to the elders of the family concerning a land matter, they go to their court in their coven to make a report about you. When you dash somebody money, they will take the money as an evidence that he was busy insulting me. I pray for you. Anywhere they have taken your case to and those who are judging you in their court of arbitration may the fire of God expose and destroy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to go straight to the point. Zechariah chapter 5. Please follow me. Zechariah chapter 5. From verse 5. I want you to know. To everything you see on earth. There is a spirit behind it. To every event and situation. There are powers that are involved. There are forces that make some things happen in our lives. But I pray that negative things will not take their place in your life. Yeah. Now let's look at it. Zechariah chapter 5. I will be fast. Verse 5. The prophet said, Then I turned. Okay. Then the angel that talked with me went forth and said unto me. Now what does it mean that the angel went forth? That means the angel was somewhere. And he's coming out. And he said unto me. Yes. Lift up now. Where did he say she look at? Up. Thy eyes and see what is this. That goeth forth. That look and lift up your eyes. Now look at me. He was not talking about physical sight. He was waking the prophet in the realm of the spirit. He said, look up now and see what is going on. And hear what he said, verse 6. And I said, what is it? And he said, this is what? An emphasis. Now, what does it mean to say an emphasis? An emphasis means a measuring container. Now, I'm talking about how to break loose from foundational cause. It is in some people's foundation that they must gossip. It's gossip that killed your grandfather. Where he was talking, and they saw him, and somebody that he was talking about just tried him small. And your grandfather died. It's the same gossip that made them to sack your father from work. Now, you have taken the same line. What do you expect will happen to you? You will end up like the others. Now hear what happened. Yes. Put it back. It said a measuring container. Just follow me. Remember, this man was separated from a whole body of a family. Soaked in the blood. He's now alone. He's the only born again in the family. Anywhere he goes, he does not have the same color with the rest. 
because the color that soaked him is red. It was basking in the blood of the lamb. And it, where he turned to, they are seen the blood of the lamb. When witches gather to judge him, they are seen the blood of the lamb. When they are calling his name anywhere, they are seen the blood of the lamb. Anywhere he goes, the blood of the lamb follows him. Anywhere he enters, the blood of the lamb follows him. But now, he has an optimum security that he cannot be armed. As he's growing, now look at his life and the foundation where he comes from. I want to explain about foundation with these scriptures. He said, then an ever, this is an ever that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance throughout all the earth. Meaning that these things as a present everywhere in the world. Whether Europe or anywhere, cause is a curse. It operates everywhere. Whether it's in Israel, even in Galatia, chapter 3, verse 10, he still talk about causes. And in Galatia, chapter 3, verse 10, verse 11 to 13, he was talking about how you can break any cause. Even in Galatia, chapter 2, verse 20, was saying the same thing. He said, For I have been crucified with Christ. And Galatians chapter 3 verse 10 says, That anybody that is hung on the tree, is There is a curse upon them. And he said, Because of that cause, Which is by the law. And Jesus was crucified. And you said in chapter 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with who? With Christ. He said, nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth we are. Are you sure Christ is living in you? The only way you can break loose from any cause is for Christ to live in you. Hallelujah. It's for you to maintain his presence in your life. And he said, and ever, the next verse, verse 7, please follow me. And behold, there was lifted up a talent of lead, that is the cover. And this is a woman that seated in the midst of the ever. Who sits in the midst of that measuring container? Who sits inside? Now, how will you have a basket? A basket that they used to measure Gary. A woman is sitting inside. Hallelujah. And the woman get cover. Where did they cover up? But what is inside is a woman. And let the Bible continue. Let's continue. And said, in the midst of the ever, in the midst, means in the middle. Yes. The next verse, verse 8. And he said, the angel told the prophet, Our name is what? Wickedness. And he cast it into the midst of the ever, and he cast the weight of lead upon the mouth thereof. Verse 9. Fast. Then lifted I up my eyes, and look, and behold, there came out how many women? Two women. And the wind was in their wings. When a woman has wings, who is she? In this present day, in this present Christianity, when a woman has wings and wind is in her wings, that means she's flying. Who is she? Who is she? In your language, who do they call people like that? In Urobo, who do they call them? What do they call them? Onyeda. In Edo, what do they call such people? Eh? Azer. In Yoruba, what do they call them? Eh? Aja. In Igbo, what do they call them? Amos. <laughs> In Ishakiri, what do they call them? Olosho. In Aousa, what do they call them? In Aousa, what do they call them? Eh? No, 
It's not Barao. Barao means thief. In Aosa, what do they call them? Eh? What? What? You live in Joss before. Mayu. Red devils. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody shall fire. Like, listen, the Bible said there are two women, two witches. And this is what they did. Put it back. He said, for they had wings like the wings of a stork. And they lift up the ever between the earth and the heaven. Verse 10. Then said I to the angel that talked with me. Where are they carrying this thing to? Verse 11. And the angel said unto me. They are going to build a, an house in the land of Shina. And they will establish this wickedness there. And set there upon her own base. She will, she will have a kingdom in Shina. Hallelujah. Now look at me. You don't know because the Bible has not explained what happened in the village where you were born in time past. He only used this to explain the land of Shina. That there is something that has been taken to that land and established in that land. Now, maybe it's your village, maybe it's not Shina. That by covenant of witches, now, the, these witches are old witches because when you see that, how many of you know stockfish? You know stockfish? How is the bone of stockfish? Very strong. Am I correct? So, if their wing is so strong, means they have been hold in the business. Now, you don't know the covenant of the land where you come from. The covenant of your village with some certain powers. That is why we call it foundational cause. By result of bringing that. Now, this man of God, Zechariah was praying for the land. And God opened his eyes to see what happened in the, in the realm of the spirit. The covenant that was established and the throne that was placed upon the land of Shina. And look at me everybody. Maybe you were born from such a place. Tap your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, where were you born? I said tap your neighbor. You ask questions without waiting for an answer. I asked another neighbor, where were you born, sir? Okoloba. Now listen. Where you were born, you don't know the covenant of such a place. Then ask your neighbor, where do you come from? Wait for an answer. Where do you come from? Ask. Now, do you know the covenant of where you come from? So they did this in such a land. Listen. And established that in, that in such a land. And from that day, the thing began to operate in the land. That power they brought, and the Bible said they built her an house and they established her and set her on a throne. There, you are going to release yourself from foundational causes. You were not in agreement with what they did and where they went to do it. You don't know where they carried the gods from. But the Bible told us they took this one from somewhere to somewhere. That is why in some village, when you go to in some certain place in Benue State, especially they said there are many parts of Benue that have different stories. Some parts, it is in their culture and a sign of covenant. When you visit them, they use their wife to entertain you in the night.
Hallelujah. Which language is that? TV. Thief people. TIV. Now listen. Now, because it's a covenant. Now you come from such family. And it's your father's friend from from Sokoto border that came to visit. That gave back to your grandfather. As a result of that meeting with your grandmother that night resulted in the pregnancy of your grandfather. Your grandfather. Now, what kind of life? Now, is it your fault? Is it your fault? But you were born through that process. Now, another part of that Benue state, there are guys and women, they don't stay only with their husband. They live under the roof of the man, but they have many male that help them. You know the meaning of help? As he help them. Now, you come from such parts. Here you are, you are saying you are born again. And suddenly, men begin to enter your eye. You are drawn to them. They are drawn to you. Is it your problem? Is it you that cause it? There are some things in our lives that you cannot explain. Even though you are washed in the blood, you must allow Christ to live in you. Rise up to your feet. Whether it's out of charity that your grandfather gave your grandmother to somebody and it resulted in your father's birth. And here you are today, you have some problem that does not have traces. Some certain sickness that you cannot explain. Rise up to your feet. Lift up your two hands. When you see a woman in her right, no woman in her right senses will sleep around. There must be a spell on the head of such people. There are certain things people do. Don't curse them. Only pray for them. Lift up your two hands. You are going to pray. Every foundational crisis upon my life. Baba, Exposed by fire and destroy them. Are you ready now? In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Ghost. Prayer! Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every foundational problem. Every problem for my foundation. Every foundational trouble. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Expose them by fire and destroy them. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Le braka boska ya baragaraba. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Adua ba lekete zendeke de boska ya baraba makanta ya baraba idelede lekete boska ya baraba bakanta ya baraba. Adua, adua, adua. Begin to pray. Oh Lord, deliver me. Jehovah, deliver me. I am that I am, deliver me. The rose of Sharon, deliver me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Father, Father, break me from this foundational trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Mazakata ya baraba. Lekere buska ya baraba. Ban leke tekede. Holy Ghost. Oh yeah, bring out that picture that you brought. Be fast. You are sitting down. 